to the next A, which is airway. And do remember something that if someone can't breathe, they simply can't stay alive for very long. So we need to do something to make sure that that airway is open. And often what they say the best thing to do if it is safe to do it and there are no hazards is to put someone on their side. Just lie them on their side. Roll them gently, roll them onto their side. If you are scared and you don't know if you can move them because maybe they've been in an accident, ask the lady or the gentleman who answers on the call center and they will guide you and tell you what to do. So from airway, there are many um, techniques and, and there are many things that the paramedics will do that uh, what we say the lay person or the person at home generically doesn't know how to do. But as I said, your two options there are very easy. Ask the call center for guidance, and if you don't know what to do, or move them and lie them on their side. That often just opens the airway and helps the patient to breathe more easily. Your B comes for breathing. So we always say, is air moving in or out? So can you hear the person breathing? Can you see the person breathing? And is the person breathing normally? You can see on the right-hand side of your screen, we've gone through hazards, hello, help, and then it goes down, is the patient breathing? And we always use the word normally. Does it look normal or doesn't it? Um, and that information can then be fed to the call center and you can say to the call uh, center there that it just doesn't sound like the person's breathing nicely or there's sounds when they breathe. That information is vital for the call center to know what they're dealing with uh, when they get to you. Our last C stands for circulation, and this is probably the most difficult component of assessing a patient, and that is to ascertain if the person has a pulse. You will see in all the movies and all the television, they always feel on the side of the neck here, that area there to feel for a pulse. And the interesting thing there for you is that it doesn't really matter. So you'll hear shortly and in the next slides to come or one of the other speakers, they're going to talk about CPR. And the bottom line is if you don't know what to do and the person's not responding to you, just start CPR. Hands only CPR. 